This is my printer, this is my baby. Uh, she is an Epson SureColor T2170. And the main reasons why I love this printer is the fact that it's 24 inches wide. As you can see, it's already completed a job for me. I print on the roll, which means that I lift this lid and I'll drop a roll of canvas actually into it. And then it prints the job. And this saves me a ton of money because I'm able to fit a lot of jobs onto one long sheet. And then I go into Canva, as I mentioned in the previous modules, and that's how I am able to customize the size of my jobs, whether I want it to be 80 inches long, or I can even customize my jobs and make them five inches long. It just kind of depends. Another really cool feature of the Epson printer is the fact that it has the capability to do the tray feeding too. And honestly, like if you're trying to decide between the seven to eight hundred dollar printer and the twenty five to twenty eight hundred dollar printer, like go this route. Like the ink savings is not that significant in my opinion. This still has everything that the other one has. It does twenty four inches. It has um, archival inks. Even though they're cartridges, they are archival, and that's something that I could save more money on if I went and got the recycled ink. But something that I've just decided that I'm just gonna stand on this hill is that I really wanted to make high quality prints with the archival inks. I just feel like that sets my quality apart and my collectors appreciate it. If that don't matter to you, get the recycled ink. You will save even more money. Also has the large LCD screen. This printer is Wi-Fi enabled. Um, every job I do, I just connect to the same Wi-Fi as the printer and then send the job that way. It also, what I love about it, is it has an option to where it'll show you the remaining amount. So I actually have about three feet left of the canvas roll here, and you can easily switch between settings. So highly, highly recommend. They need to up their marketing game because everything online says it's only a plotter. The pictures make it seem like it only does black and white blueprints for like architects and stuff. And that is not, like that is obviously not the case. Like it is very capable. I bought this printer in December of 2022. I want to say around that time. It was like the fall winter of 2022 after researching it for like two years. And I used Amazon. My link is obviously loaded, but I use Amazon primarily because of their, their um, return policy. This printer is maybe a, between 30 and 50 pounds, I want to say. And I mean, I can pick it up myself. It's just because it's so wide, it makes it kind of awkward. And I don't ever want to like squeeze too hard and mess something up. But I mean, I've had like no, I've literally had no issues with it. The only times I ever have issues is sometimes like if you need to do the print head cleaning, you'll have like random like black dots or whatever. But like it's, it don't happen that often to me at least. It doesn't happen to me very often. So I think that probably is an indicator of maintenance as long as you're letting it sit in between jobs i would say if you know that you're not going to be running it <laughs> maybe turn it off <laughs> maybe but i mean those things happen like if you're only using it once every four months and yeah you're gonna have to you know the ink dries and you're gonna have to do the little maintenance thing on it but it's really good about letting you know everything that it needs if you have an error like if the print like if the paper is fed crooked or whatever it'll tell you it's kind of like, it reminds me of the printers that I would encounter as a teacher in the copy room where like, it'll give you like the visual directions and like walk you through what you need to do to fix it and like what your boo-boo was, which I really appreciate because I need the visual instructions. Okay, I'm not about to be reading this seven point font, English, French translation, trying to figure out what's wrong with this printer. Um, but I really like it. I feel like it is the perfect option. And if you're trying to decide between this route and spending like $3,000 or $2,000 or even $1,500, like I say, I can say it wholeheartedly with my chest. Like, don't do that. Like, don't, don't do it if you don't have to. Um, I will say if you're planning on spending more than $400 for a printer, if, you, if you're planning on spending more than $400 on a printer, get a printer that can at least go and print like an 18 by 24 inch. I mean, at the bare minimum, a 16 by 20 inch if you wanna make your money back. If you want to do it yourself and you want to, and you're afraid of the investment, well, the number one thing you need to do is be open to printing larger size prints. You just, you got to. 
because all you have to do is sell a couple of those to be able to pay it off and then you're done. Whereas $700 divided by 22 is way more. Like, you know, let's work smarter, not harder. Whether you are a seasoned artist or just starting out, this step-by-step -step class will guide you through the process of creating stunning prints from the comfort of your own home or studio. You can learn all the techniques that I use to do everything from taking pictures of my prints to editing the colors to even setting up the displays in person at art shows. I did nine art shows, including some that are critically acclaimed, like the St. James Court Art Show that goes across three days in downtown Louisville, Kentucky. I am an award-winning artist, but more importantly, I am a certified special education teacher. I spent seven years in the classroom. Teaching is my jam. And this is one of those things that I made because inboxes were constantly being over flooded by questions about prints and things. And it was really hard to succinctly answer everyone's questions. And so I thought, well, I'll just do what I do best, which is teach. And so I created this resource because it was everything that I needed and more. I spent two years researching printers and photo editing, and I had to take a lot of leaps of faith. I made this class so you would not have to go through what I went through and hopefully save you a lot of money. Be sure to follow and subscribe so you get access to more helpful content and check out that free preview over at ShakiaHairsHeart.com. Good luck!